Yeah, montage of cute stuff. It's a montage of cute stuff that's kind of beachy and kind of peachy and kind of cute stuff. Hey, so I started off with these, uh, the other side of the planets, which I've filmed in front of. This is the sparkly side of the planets, which seemed kind of cool and kind of groovy. But I'm going to sort of like show you these cool planets and then move um, in hopefully a non-awkward fashion to the greenery. Because, I don't know, it just seems like a cuter scenery or something. Even though, you know, been there, done that, you've seen that, you're so bored by my greenery and my scenery, but... It's okay. Just feels right. I feel like I have stuff in my teeth, but hopefully I don't. It's quite rainy here. I hope that bird goes again because it's very like Hollywood and cute. Do it again, bird. It did it. Well, now there's a jet going overhead, so that's that's perfect as well. But don't fret. It's just a jet. Yeah. Word. Okay, word. We'll just keep going. Look at these cool shoes. These shorts are straight up from the 50s and they fit me like they're tailor made to my body. Hey! So I got a little, little naughty little Marilyn little outfit going on. Woo! -hoo! And maybe I've shown these shoes before, but I think I have. I just wish, yeah, I was like a Stepford wife when I wore them before. I just wish anyone would invite me something to something cool enough to wear shoes like this. Um, but they're also from the 50s. 50 nifty pairs of shoes that sit in my basement with nothing to do. Each individual shoe deserves a bow, so invite me somehow. Hey, so it's very rainy today. And um, I'm just kind of continuing on the theme from yesterday. If any of you watched yesterday or care to go back, uh, I'm giving myself a lot of flack about the dreams I haven't made come true. Don't know if any of you feel that, um, but it's I talk a lot, talked a lot, past tense in the yesterday, in the day of yester about longing for LA and wondering how does one belong? Do I belong in such a place? Can one belong in such a place? And facing the inadequacy of all these people I know being on TV. Ow! It's so fun. Okay, so um, I just continued with that fun thing and it's my little like um, parasol that I sometimes wore there as an accessory and I just love this little Marilyn photo on my shirt because she's just very whimsical and bright um, so I can barely bend over or move in these pants but a little bit of show and tell I'll come I'll come closer to ya hi um, so I was speaking yesterday about digging frantically through my entire house in a panic, trying to find this piece of artwork that some friends and I in LA bought on Venice Beach from an unhomed individual. We all had to pitch in to buy this piece of artwork. I said it was a joker or a jester. It may have been a joker. It was either a jester or a joker, you know? A uh, sniffer or a smoker, I don't know. Jester, joker, one and the same. Not really, but similar vibrations, I think. Um, hi. So, uh, oh, it's getting so nice and pink and sort of matching my little thing that I was thinking I'd bring to you. So in my digging, uh, it's interesting. I was just, I still have not found the art piece, which I'm really upset about, but I was just clawing frantically through everything I own and I found a couple of other crazy things from LA. So firstly, I feel like I'm really vibing with this person. Um, this was like over 13 years ago, so I would never know how to ask their permission, but I took about 
uh, I don't know, 50 pictures of them. So I'm pretty sure that they don't mind the attention. But look at that poodle costume. This was Holly Weird, Halloween, me and Momo. Um, I was Betty Page and she was some sort of like muse of the 60s age in a big fur coat and undies and it was so fun and we got so much attention and I found um, there was a lot of anger towards George Bush which I wish I would have told previous us that we didn't know what a bad president was <laughs> until like you know who Dumpy Mick Humpty Dumpy came along but yeah, we, we thought shit was pretty bad with old Georgie boy, and this was a really funny costume of him. I mean, that's dedication right there. That's amazing dedication. And then uh, this was another person, Santa and the devil supporting Bush. Being like, ho, ho, ho. Support Bush, bro. And this was from an LA Times thing. So I collected a lot of that. And boy, we thought that was bad. We thought that was bad. But I was also... Um, because so I found this poem today digging in the frantic way through all my stuff and it was another piece of um, me digging through my feelings and giving myself advice in LA that I may or may not have followed <laughs> but um, once you see the title you'll understand but I was digging frantically for the jester slash joker and I found all this other random stuff and I found this poem and then the title I was like oh my gosh I have to find my uncle laddie's bazooka joe tin and I found it in the strangest place I had to dig through so many boxes and it was this box that you would never suspect to be the box but I found this bazooka joe tin it belonged to my uncle laddie as I said he and I both like to keep special things in special tins and special boxes and oh goodness the awkwardness of trying to open this um, several cool things in here. I was pretty excited because I will reuse this, but I found my, um, one-eyed, one horn, flying purple people eater, the key elements to that outfit. So this will be reused. Um, one tiger ear, you know, you know, um, this fake flower, some 3D glasses because you never know when you're going to need them. And this was the creme de la creme of what I was really looking for, which I knew was in the Bazooka Joe tin. Mr. Twinkie! Twinkie the Kid! Twinkie the Kid! Hey, hey guys! Twinkie the Kid! Kid, don't worry, my hands come off sometimes. It's no big deal, they pop right back on. And hilariously enough, inside Twinkie the Kid, this is back when weed was illegal, kids. Um, this is my lipstick pipe. Oh, honey, let me just... <laughs> Hilarious. For weed, it looks more sinister than that. But yeah, lipstick pipe. Too funny. Too funny, too funny. But I was really happy to find these accoutrements. And now I shall read the poem that go back into the zone of missing L.A. And then wondering, what's wrong with my brain that I would miss such a place? But really excited that I found these because often when I'm trying to find something, I cannot. So I'll read to you the poem and you'll get it. Um, I know we came up with this because we were driving past some crazy factory and I know we were high. And we were like, what is that? The Twinkie Factory? So we're in LA and this one's called The Twinkie Factory. And it's advice to myself or to anyone who may need it. Twinkie the Kid, where do you want to go? Where do you want to go, bro? I mean, I guess just... I mean, I want you, like, in the game. I want you in, in the game. So, I don't know. Having a hard time. Having a hard time. <laughs> Hi. The Twinkie Factory. Do what you must do. Everyone's going to tell you a different version of what is true. Feel the way words impact your molecules so distinctly. Well... Maybe this is the Twinkie factory. Notice that little old lady sitting there. This is industry. Nothing more except the billions of layers that came before and before that evolve and wind to find a working system. Generate the means. Don't forget to eat your greens. Make audacious, ludicrous, unforgettable scenes. Stop debating the room and just begin. Check in. Check out. Check up. Regroup. Transfer the material over to writing. 
You're fighting yourself again. Cut it out. Make a resin ball of your doubts and smoke it defiantly. Be steadfast and pliant simultaneously. Under no circumstances are you to be upended. Read recommended books. Encourage creation. Pay attention to the person you're stuck behind in the line. You just may find they possess something you've been wa wanting to know. Waiting to know or wanting to know. Be more enthralled. Crawl if the ceiling is low. Reject the call. Strong women are made from strong currents. Flow with them. Meditate. Locate the secret garden gate and play pan pipes to all the animal friends. Lend your spark to a darkness that is not your own. Remind yourself how to play. Find a way. Find a way. Create a way. Create a way. Learn history. Relearn it. Learn the parts they never taught you. Learn the way of things. Learn a new language. Learn to sing in a way that has zero motivation and getting some grade. Take a break for goodness sake. Encourage the state of your frustration. It stems from wanting to revolutionize. Mentally change the color of your eyes. <laughs> Except that there's a very good chance we have all been completely hypnotized. Your ideas are not elevator pitches. They are sacred treasured prizes. Be more surprised by surprises. Generate in your third eye the existence of a holy talisman and seek it. Keep your secrets. Find more secrets. Leap to a destination you do not remotely know. Make a poem for every photo. Stop telling the winds where to blow. Finish it when it's finished. Then perhaps you might grow. Make the same brushstroke over and over. Blur the self-sure egotist from the picture. Do not leave your gifts in the rain to rust. Bust out the oblique strategies. Write notes. Dig through piles. While away the hours and days if it pleases you to praise the time that way. Be mindful of the scramble, the mind gamble. Let them know. Write every day. Become addicted to it. Pray to it. Write down every idea no matter how insignificant. Never allow yourself to become indifferent. Be a walking, unforgettable incident. Write down new life recipes. Take the necessities and must-dos one at a time. Stopping to realize that you can make it as beautiful as you see it in your mind. Find the aha. Nurture and protect your awe. When they tell you to tone it down, become an even brighter beam. Work the scene to know the scene. Save your breath for the extraordinary conversations. Make an entrance everywhere you go without hesitation. Do not lose hope in unification. Request repetition if you do not understand what they say. Describe these days purging in detail. Stop submitting to the idea that not doing it perfectly is an indication you failed. Regale with whatever resources you've got. Stir the fucking pot. Do not let the lovely fruit rot. Cast off limiting thoughts and cast an even wider net. Live to watch the sun and moon rise and set. Live for it. Work towards it. Count the hours. Then take a long shower and lose track of them. Reinvent them. Make time. Tell them everything. On the same piece of paper I wrote, write on Coenga. Look for the broken down gas station, 101 South, exit Highland. Where was I going, I wonder? No, really, tell them everything. Those dreams, all those beautiful, crazy, dizzy dreams. Make room for them, make room for him. In my dream, he had a hula dancer tattoo. The alligators and sharks were there, too. Always some him, him, him in the way. A towering inferno of hymns. Trim the fat already. Not talking food, talking the grab hands, the umpteenth man with a plan, and the ever rude. Do not come unglued over a little jostling. To those who have lost it, hope can be a hostile thing. Ring bells to open portals wherever you go. Save the planet now. You have no other choice. Give them the truth of your voice, not just the words. The meaning was embedded so it doesn't matter what they heard. I am always lured in by the next best best. If only I could puff my chest when standing at those judgmental desks the way I do in my subconscious. Like those stage combat dreams where I was really good at sword fighting. When I'm asleep, my challenges and enemies are exciting. 
Crazy sex in empty Hollywood swimming pools. A gigantic valley of fool's gold. Hold your thoughts, 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 dot, dot, dot. Get your fucking thoughts out, kiddo. Get something you love deeply on video. Don't you dare drop your head so low. Every second is precious. We believers will always find something new to test us. Look past the disgust and callousness to find unseen features. Appreciate these flawed creatures. Ask them questions. Stare at them. Continue to refuse ben blend continue to refuse blending in keep backup resources stowed run away when it hits you to do so write about them grab a feather and some ink or a convenient bank provided pen study those beautiful as well as the mean see those who long to be seen give proper texture to your dreams know your own history make your plans even bigger than your soul turn rejection into self-reflection and new goals find unsuspecting warmth when it gets too cold when you're bold enough to be on the beach by yourself discover the wealth of messages as the ocean horizon pulls down the very last light of the day transform each scene into a proper standing ovation worthy display do not let all those spiral shaped thoughts get in the way forget all of those closed-minded rows 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 start doing this now dance anyhow find a way communicate differently put up paper notices for missing epiphanies put up paper notices for missing epiphanies perhaps someone found yours under the pier steer clear of hearts turned to stone get off the phone get more comfortable being alone invent a new tone that will explain it without words follow the delineated curves in the landscape they are there to take you where you want to go show up for your own performance convincing conformists will pop up without warning write it out every morning every night spend a week taking smaller bites then next week take big ones appreciate your thumbs keep worthy loving words in your lungs Car Carve new rungs to climb. Fine tune your feelers. Talk to photographers who aren't soul stealers. Appeal to those who value heart. Make great art. Find a way. Make a way. Though fear keeps you at bay, go ahead and get naked anyway for a midnight swim. Find him. Tell him. Take this and reform it. Locate the honey and swarm it. Warm your hands. Mold the clay. Okay, I'm gonna run out of storage. I need a new phone. But there we go. Get more comfortable being alone. And there's my stuff. Twinkie the Kid says, have a great day. Until next time.